Bristol, where the DOT has been out waiting all day to get out and about and help prevent the ice buildup on the roads. Yeah, all the rain all day really making things quite tricky for crews. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Mike Savino is joining us live with the mobile newsroom in Bristol with the latest on uh, conditions there. Mike, how is it? Yes, Mark and Aaron, normally those plowed trucks would be out a day or two ahead of time, treating those roads like we see with snowstorms. But this rain is not letting them do that because it would wash the salt off of these roads. So instead, the DOT says that they've had their full fleet, some 600 trucks or more than 600 trucks, rather, driving around the state, monitoring conditions. They even have sensors in their trucks that let them know what the ground temperatures are because that's what they care about. And when those ground temperatures get down to freezing or close to freezing that's when they start treating the roads and here in bristol the local uh, public works department is doing much the same thing in fact their public works director told me today that they'll start focusing on the side roads in hope that some of this traffic on the main roads will help keep that ground temperature up but the uh, dot also says that if you do have to go out and you see roads just assume that they're icy even though they're out there putting down treatment meanwhile drivers tell me that they're hoping for much better conditions than we saw a month ago when a, uh, froze, a uh, freezing rainstorm made for some very slick conditions and plenty of crashes. Yeah, hopefully, yeah. Last time it was a little bit of a struggle. We ask all of our motorists to just slow down, please use caution, leave space between your vehicle and the vehicle in front of you, now, public works departments were able to get out and do some work ahead of time at the local level, uh, in particular, cleaning out storm drains, making sure that they weren't clogged with any snow from Winter Storm Bobby or any snow or anything caught up in snow melt in the last couple of days. Live from Bristol, Mike Savino, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.